Hey everybody, it's Jochen Haydn, and I'm back with the Macho vs. Haydn campaign. It is April 8th, 1942. I'm feeling very uneasy right now with the whole situation with the American carriers. Now, they're currently missing in action, but they could come back at any time. They can sprint in at a moment's notice, and we can get ambushed. As long as they're down there... Um, as long as they're down there... it. it Near the Dutch East Indies, it's dangerous for us. Okay, unfortunately, my subs can't seem to make contact at Raul, but there's some juicy stuff there. Alright, enemy subs continuing to be a nuisance down here. After yesterday's attack on Colombo, I'm, I'm sensing some blood in the water, so I'm currently... Uh, trying to, you know, get closer, see if we can get another strike off. Yeah, let's see if we can damage something. Nope. S-27 gets away. Oh, man, that S-27 had so many opportunities today. Gets away again. All right. Okay, we expect there to be a lot of enemy ships in Colombo. We get that. A lot of them. Holy moly. What is he doing here? All right. Yes, 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 yes. <sighs> A lot of aircraft in Colombo, guys. Let's see what we can do with that. Ah. Okay, got a couple PT boats and such. I got subs in the area now trying to pick something off. Okay, error operations day. This should be pretty wild. Oh, this guy's got a little closer than I expected. Look how close we got into Colombo, guys. Okay, well, we know he's got Cap... <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, we know he's got Cap and Colombo. Hopefully my sweeps go. Oh, man, this is going to be... Okay, wow, wow. All right, it's gonna be wild today, guys. You ready? Okay, so he brought in every available aircraft that he could, guys. But I planned for this, and I'm bringing in a lot of stuff as well. So we've got some sweeps coming in because my bombers are going in too. Let's see what we can do with this, guys. We've got several sweeps going first. Hopefully we can... Knock down some of this cap. All right, looks like we cleared some of those aircraft out. All right, he's got stuff at really high altitude as well. Cool. First sweep in, looks like we're knocking down some fighters. This is all he's got to put up. Th this is looking good. Okay, second sweep. Let's see what these guys can do. Okay, we go through, we knock down some more aircraft here. Oh! Ooh! Okay, check this out guys. Confirmation that Oklahoma has sunk. So I didn't actually hit it yet, but our aircraft just saw it sinking in port. So, okay, we knocked down some more fighters. Let's keep going. That should help us a bit. He still got quite a bit up here. This is just the, the leftovers that come in. Okay, slowly but surely we're whittling this down. Alright. 
So that's all he's got left on cap. I think we're going to be okay. I hope. Okay, hitting baton. Hmm, that's pretty good. Okay, Oscar's going in now. Let's see what they can let's see what they can knock down. I don't have as much hope in the Oscars, but let's try it out. Hmm, we lost a lot of Oscars on that one, but we did definitely kill some stuff, so hopefully we've got this cap down to something manageable. Okay, Wellington's hitting Lido. I don't care one bit. This is fine. This is not a long-term hold, I don't think, with the situation being what it is. Okay, B-17 coming in to hit Lido. That's fine. I think there's better places he could have used these 35 B-17s on. Now I know where they're all at. Okay. Hitting Lido. 60 something B17s that's not fun All right guys got a big raid coming in here lots of escort so um, I think the 100 zero should be able to defeat this cap and we're going to get another big strike in. So let's fast forward through this here. Good. S zero's escorted him in. We're going straight in guys. Let's get him. Let's get him. Come on. Let's get some torpedoes in here. Now, I don't really need 250 kilogram bomb hits. Only torpedoes hits. Honolulu, huh? Nice. There we go. That's what we need. Nice, yes. Idaho. Yes. Can we get some more? No, nope, bombs. I don't need bombs. I need torpedoes. I need torpedoes. Colorado. My gosh. He has so much in here. I just cannot believe he committed all of this to this. Nice. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. I just can't believe it. It's 
Some torpedoes in that would be nice. Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh. Oh, dude. Idaho is done for. Not ah, missed there. Oh, Maryland's done. Can we get to... Wow, well, dang it. I need torpedoes in the Colorado. Ah, oh, that torpedo. Come on. Good, there we go, there we go. Let's just go ahead and add a little more to it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, we're running out of torpedoes in the task force. That's why we're kind of in this boat right now. Nice. Man, Resolution's been dodging some bullets. Let's get some torpedoes into the into that. Come on. I need torpedoes. Please hit it with the torpedo. Ah, we missed. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. oh, yes, yes! Oh, go. Oh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh, I'd, I'd love to hit that thing. Idaho sinks. Okay. Escort's got to deal with that. Very, very low losses this time. We shot down a lot of aircraft. Um, torpedo hits into the Maryland. The Ramillies, those are going to sink. Uh, Mississippi won't sink. Idaho went down. Colorado is damaged. Royal Sovereign gets a torpedo hit. Uh, this is some pretty good stuff, guys. Uh, we've done a lot of damage to him today. And there's troops. So I don't know if he's unloading or, or loading more. I don't, I'm assuming he's unloading more. It's crazy. Okay, some valves are coming in to get a little piece of this action. Good. Okay, a little follow-up right there. One bomb into the Panther. Okay. I got some more Kates going after whatever this is. Ooh. Let's hit that. Nice. Alright, I think we got it. Kind of a big waste of torpedoes there.
Okay, we looks like we picked up a couple more ships. No. They already unloaded the cargo, but it just adds to the tally. Alright, so that went pretty dang good, guys. Uh, the, the butcher's bill at Colombo is, is quickly getting out of control for him, so... I know he wanted to reinforce that place. I, I would love it if we can get a second naval strike off, but I, I doubt that we can. Wow. Here we go with the here we go with the Jake Slaughter again. He's hitting uh, Lido again. That's fine. Oh, we're getting a second strike in, guys. We're getting a second strike in. Let's see what we get out of this. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's hit some good stuff here. That doesn't do much for me. Good. Good. I'm surprised that Maryland's even still afloat after all those torpedo hits. Let's get something into that, please. Ah, oh, man, come on. We need to start hitting these cruisers now. Nice, that's what we need right there. Okay, acceptable losses. Couple bombs into the Maryland. Mar I'm sorry, the Phoenix. Maryland still hit, still up. We need to start taking out more of these. I don't know if we're gonna get another strike off. That might be it for today. I'm still okay with that. Okay, land combat today. My tanks are cleaning these guys up here. Unit destroyed. All right. Okay, tanks are going at it for a third attempt today. We just can't seem to wear them down. I think we're just a little too tired here. And that's okay. I have other plans now. Okay, I got a uh, shock tech here. It's just the armor. And we basically annihilate six allied units, which clears a road straight into Chungking. Okay, bombardment at Baton. 
I keep whittling these guys away. His AV is falling every day now, and that's what I need to see. And to Yoon. I think he's falling back. Yes, he is. Look at that. He, he's pulling a core out of here. Okay, we should clear these guys off the island today. Nope, we don't. They're still alive. Hiding in the bushes. Okay, I'm dropping in my raiding regiment to take back and Kang. But we don't quite get it done. Hmm. Alright, well, we're gonna have to keep trying. I need to take Yan Kang. Okay. Uh, I'd say this was another good turn for us. But how, for how long is the question? Wow, what a turn, guys. Aircraft losses today. Uh, 35 for us, 30 for him. We lose a lot of Jakes. We lose some Oscars. A uh, couple of Kates, that's not bad. A couple, a couple of those, not bad. 14 zeros. Overall, it's. I feel like the Jakes are making the tally worse. He loses 30 fighters over... Um, uh, oh, oh, hold on. Turn that off. Over Columbo today. P pilots. Basically 20 pilots lost today. That's a shame. Ship sunk. Um, I'm pretty sure the Maryland's going to sink if it hasn't already. The Idaho definitely sank last turn. We saw it. And a few more transports. And we put some more bombs into some other stuff. Uh, yeah. So uh, Allied Army loss points are continuing to go up. So we're starting to gain some traction on the score here. Okay, North Pacific. I want to start really keeping an eye on that. Nothing happened in there. In China, we just blasted through here. So now we're going to line drive straight into this hex to start disrupting these troops as they come across to try to get into Chungking. I want to damage as much as possible before they get into that, into that hex. And that's what he's trying to do. So all these guys are going to be basically put into reserve mode. We'll take this division, rebuild it, make it easier to manage. Let me make sure there's no other split divisions here. Okay, all these guys, including the, especially the armor, we're going to put into reserve mode and tell them to get into this hex as quickly as possible to stop the allies getting in. Set all to march. Good. We should beat these guys in. Kill whatever's left there if they didn't already get there. All right, looking good, guys. We're getting close to Chung King here. Uh, working on getting the airfield expanded here at Kenko to get the supply level up. And AV continues to rise with more reinforcements on the way behind all that. All right. Um, we did try to land at Anking. Unfortunately, uh, we were not successful in taking it today, but we're going to try it again. And tomorrow, I'm going to use my bombers to soften it up. And over here in Tuyun, it looks like he's starting to retreat. He pulled the core out. 
I'm feeling blood in the water. We may want to attack here soon. He's also pulling back here and pulling back here. So he's in full retreat mode, guys. I think he's starting to head into chunking the turtle up. Okay, in Burma, the situation is definitely more complicated. Uh, <laughs> we're kind of stuck in Lashio again. But he's got troops all over the place, though. And he's moving into Katha. And his troops are moving down as well. So he's pushing into Burma from this angle. Uh, but interestingly enough, it looks like he's actually falling back. I don't quite understand why. He's pulling these troops away from here, and I don't know why he would do that. Hmm. I don't get it, but I'll tell you what. There's so many troops here, guys. I just don't know that we're going to have what it takes to, to break through here. Where are all his fighters at? You guys notice that? No fighters are here. I wonder if he's shifting them all back. He may all be shifting them back towards Colombo to try to do something with that. All right. So, um, still a substantial amount of enemy ships in the Colombo hex. We're one hex away. I have some big decisions to make here. What do we do with this? Do we go in and try to attack these guys? Or do we let them go? Uh, I don't know. But he's definitely trying to uh, reinforce and defend Colombo. That's for sure. And we need to decide what we want to do with all this. But uh, I do have additional reinforcements on the way. Uh, I think we need to double down here. The enemy carriers are not sighted right now. Okay. So they were over here the other day. Oh. My guess is that uh, that might be something here. Moving southeast. Okay. We have recon all the way up to about here. And then I have more here. And then more here. I need to get something else out here. Because his carriers can be back here in a few days. So we need to act quickly. And whatever we're going to do, we need to do it within the next turn and fall back. Because his carrier force is stronger than mine right now. My Kido Butai is basically completely drained. So if you look at it, no torpedoes, no torpedoes, no torpedoes, none. None. I'm wondering if we can go to Trincomalee. Nope, rearm level's not high enough. Yeah, so as you can see, um, Kido Batai's going to have to fall back to rearm and re basically replenish my air groups, guys. We've lost so many aircraft over the last couple weeks with some of these admittedly terrible uh, attacks that I launched and just attrition. I need more aircraft here. But I'm... I'm feeling some blood in the water at Colombo, guys. I think we need to do something about this. Most of his battleships have been um, badly mauled, damaged, and I think we can take advantage of that. Maybe we should. All right. All right. So over here in the Dutch East Indies, everything's kind of a mess right now. Because of the threat of the enemy carriers, I've kind of had to scatter stuff and disrupt my CS convoys, and I really don't like having to do that. So... I need to get all that reorganized and get back to work. Working on killing these guys. And we have Dutch troops right here that are trying to come into Samarinda. And quite honestly, I'm glad I want them to. I've got somebody waiting for them. Okay, and Baton, uh, I we're starting to whittle away at his stuff. I saw that uh, some of his AV is definitely not is definitely not recovering, so. At what point do we attack? I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like even if we did attack and it wasn't a great attack, we would probably be able to recover, whereas he cannot. Right? He has no supply. So a, a combination of bringing in more reinforcements here and continue to bombard, I think by the end of April, we'll have Baton. Down in the South Pacific, there's nothing going on other than us trying to kill some of these ships here at Raul Island. 
I've got literally three subs here and we can't seem to connect. And that's it. This is where the action is at, guys. A combination of here and here. Now, just for reference, of those 100 bombers that hit Leto, he still did not kill all the oil. That's pretty surprising. And, and, and now I know he's trying to do that, but I'm not entirely sure how long we're actually going to be in this area. So, like, I don't know that this is a big deal. I don't even know if that I want to keep this base for long. Let's get these tank regiments in Toledo, and I think I have a plan. I'm going to keep thinking it over, guys, but I'm starting to reevaluate the effectiveness of this India campaign with all these enemy troops in here. I don't know that I'm ever going to get anywhere, so we need to decide, is it worthwhile staying here or not? Especially with him dropping more troops on Colombo. I feel like we have a better chance of doing something with this than we do with that. So what do we do here? Do we fall back to Chittagong and maybe relocate some troops to Ceylon to seal the deal for these allied troops here? I think we can make that work. Okay, he's got ships sighted in port at Colombo. Okay. Noted. Ah, so much to think about. Well, tell me what you guys think about this whole Ceylon thing, what we should do and what the next move should be. It's pretty intense what's going on here. It's been an incredible couple days for Keto Butai. Let's see if we can get some more of it. Catch you guys on the next one.